This is my task one for promotional videos in which I must analyze promotional videos. The first one is informational. This is a promotional video about a supplement called Lucky Buck. Lucky Buck is a mineral that is used to attract deer into an area so that they can be tracked easier. People like to hunt deer, take photographs and even study them. Using Lucky Buck makes the task of locating a deer simpler. The entire video was shot poorly and the quality was very low. At the start of the video there is an introduction to the organisation that owns Lucky Buck. The introduction included a montage photograph of deers and the Lucky Buck bucket itself. The only half decent element of the beginning is the slow motion opening of the leaves flying from the trees with a maroon sky in the background. I liked how the title bounced in at the left side of the screen, however it could have been a lot better looking. After the images are shown there are three separate clips split up showing deers in the wild. The quality of these clips are terrible because shots are out of focus and it is difficult to know what you're supposed to be looking for. The camera is too shaky and far away to be able to make the deers out and see what they're actually doing. These three clips continue to run longer than what they should have. I found that I was losing interest already in what the promotional video was actually supposed to be about. The next footage shown was by a Lucky Buck customer. I think it was a very bad idea to use amateur footage for this promotional video. Due to the promotional video being badly filmed, this pulled down the quality a lot. After only one year on Lucky Buck, a customer brought us this footage on the property where he was feeding Lucky Buck. We estimate this buck at almost 260 inches. The good thing that I liked about the promotional video was that the people in it knew what they were talking about and the music was appropriate. They had gone through a tremendous effort of filming for what they had gotten. This included the editing of the video and addition of the images. There were graphics added to the video with the Lucky Buck logo nearly at the top side of the screen. The Lucky Buck promotional video had shown everything that they were trying to promote even though it was not done so to a professional standard. It had also taken me quite a while to figure out what the promotional video was about as well. I think that the country music suited the promotional video because deers would be based in rural areas. The promotional video managed to stick to its theme and target audience for its product. That is probably the best element of the video. Lucky Box logo was displayed all the way through to the point it appeared more than once in every single frame. Instead it should have been stretched out so that it wouldn't be taking up so much space on the frame. There were interviews in the promotional video and I found that they were tedious, mainly because I didn't know at the point what the people in the video were talking about. The lighting was very poor. Low quality cameras have been used to shoot those videos and it's very likely that they could have been taken from a mobile phone with a camera feature on it. The next promotional video was pastiche called On The Runway. The opening shots of the video are sharp and nice especially with the smooth black and white colouring added to them. The titles at the start are displayed nicely with the fade in and fade out. I like the font and style used for the title sequence. All of the shots used in the video are terrific except they were all handheld. I found that using the shots without a tripod actually lowered the quality of the video and ruined it. The title sequence that introduced the student's name was far too long. It should have only shown a small number instead of everyone's name. The effects used were good but in the end it was too much and really it overstepped the mark. Whenever all of the students are walking towards the college, they all look depressed. I know this is a promotional video, but I really think that students should have been smiling and socializing with each other before they meet their tutor. The low faced expressions of the students as they make their way to college makes it appear that they are slaves to college and are dreading the next lesson and that their tutor is very strict. The music is fantastic and actually suits the tone that the careers are really going for. I also found that by making the tutor look very serious, it also meant that the students would be learning what they needed to know. The tutor was presented in a manner that he meant business and that the students would graduate so long as they followed his methods. The expression on the students' faces showed that they were aware of their tutor's reputation and that they would have a long journey ahead of them. I feel that the students walking towards him throughout the promotion of the video are foreshadowing that journey. The appearance is in black and white in order to add a strict tone to the video. If this video had been in colour, then it would have destroyed the tone that it was trying to present. These students are coming to college to gain an educational degree. If the tutor in particular were in colour, then he would not appear intimidating as if most of the video was making him out to be. The tutor is wearing a black suit and glasses while the students are wearing the casual clothes. The tutor's clothes show that he is an important figure and is waiting to collect the students once they arrive so he can begin his teaching. Some of the students that are walking to the college are intimidated while others are determined to take on the college's education. Students that are intimidated by the tutor are attending the course because they want to learn. The students who are determined to study the course probably see eye to eye with their lecture and he probably respects them in return. So they are definitely going to succeed and they just feel comfortable with them. Music. The music used in the promotional video is dramatic and completely fits the emotions of the visuals. 
The tutor walks slowly out of the cottage and the music fits with its pacing. Shots. The shots are wide, mids and close-ups and they were all used in order to create the tension. The build-up that the music and shots are making are telling the audience that these students will go somewhere in life once they complete their journey with their tutor. Then there are shots of the students in a white room and they are currently studying their course. I feel that these wide shots mean that the students are enjoying the course and are on their very own way to success. These shots are showing off the professionalism that they teach at the college the students are enrolled at. At the start of the promotional video it is shown establishing shots of the location that the college is located at. I think this was done as an introduction to show the type of environment that the college was built at and what type of people we could have in the promotional video. The promotional video is only around a minute and a half long. This promotional video wastes no time in showing what is happening. It simply gets to the point and shows each piece of detail piece by piece. The next promotional video is a parody made by the company KitKat. The company KitKat that produced the chocolate bars created a promotional video of their product only they had actually parodied one of Apple's iPhone promotional videos doing this. The video began with a young man talking about the brand and how the KitKat make their products. This KitKat employee had spoken passionately about the amount of time and dedication that had gone into the crafting of the KitKat card to make it pure. I find that his manner of speaking was similar to how an employee whose design technology would preach after creating a large product and spent the last six months working on. The wide shot used actually made the KitKat employee appear professional. His red clothing and depth of field made the employee stand out and had him displayed on a serious presence. There are cutaways of the employee holding the KitKat bar in his hand as he explained the details of it. While this employee is talking, the video cuts to animation sequences of the KitKat bar. The format and style that the KitKat bar animation is shown in resembles how Apple would present their products in a promotional video as well. Towards the end of the promotional video, there is an iPhone displayed and on it is a KitKat bar being shown. At this point in the video, it is making a definite stand that it is parodying the Apple iPhone promotional videos. I noticed that the employee is parodying the deceased owner of Apple CEO Steve Jobs, who would also speak passionately and formally about his new products. Not that this promotional video is trying to make fun of Steve in his memory. The parody is not being done in a negative manner, but it is a creative maneuver that KitKat is trying to promote their product with. This promotional video could actually be counted as paying homage to Steve Jobs and Apple. All of the information is flowing at a nice pace from the employer's mouth. He is taking his time to explain the product and not adding too much information at once. The lighting of the video is good and all the colours are showing up perfectly. It also helps the lighting that the colours are used are actually bright as well. The promotional video is actually really vibrant as a result of the colours that were chosen. I personally find that the promotional video was over before it even started. It actually felt like I had watched a 30 second advertisement and was surprised when I right checked the line to discover that it was well over a minute long. The type of shots used in this promotional video were mid shots of the interviewer talking. Then there were close ups of shots of the Kit Kat bar whenever he was holding it in his hands. Then another close up which was also a pan showing the Kit Kat bar in his pocket. The music is very beautiful and I believe it has been put in order to match the tone of the employee and the richness of the Kit Kat bar's flavour. The music is playing softly just as the employee is speaking softly about the Kit Kat product. The employee was dressed in his work clothes and also had a well polished appearance on himself. The background of the promotional video was filmed in what looks to be an office. The reason being, I believe, is to show that this employee was involved in the planning, design and marketing team. It also shows off the building that the Kit Kat actually works in. I think that showing the appearance of the clean and tidy building reflects the professionalism that Kit Kat works under. The next promotional video is Surreal Media Group X Jessica White. The opening of the video shows a white shot zooming in on a girl getting her hair done. This scene is in black and white to bring a sense of mysteriousness to the video. I believe it is to keep the audience guessing on what she is getting all dressed up for. In the next shot it shows her hair being straightened in slow motion. That could be to reflect on how long it takes for a girl to get properly dressed so that they look perfect. The next few cuts are shown of the girl from different sides. I think this was to show the other perspective on how she looks with all her makeup on and her hair properly straightened. Then the video shows a shot of a city, night time and finally she is at an event. During the event she has been photographed by a lot of people. A lot of them would be press photographers and fans of the girls. During the scene there was actually graphics used. There is no actual moving image used. Instead there is a photograph of the girl sliding along the photographs. This is to represent how she truly feels when she is walking on the red carpet swarmed by cameras. The pacing of the promotional video is slow, but it also captured the process of how Jessica White would start with her makeup all the way to arriving at an event. The music is a mixture of metal, and I believe it would represent the emotions preparation for the event to actually being at the event in the end.
The black and white scenes at the start tell me that something is not particularly right about Jessica White's emotions. In the next scenes there is colour and Jessica is smiling and I believe the smile is either fake or she realises that her life may not be all that bad. At the end of the day people appear to like her for how she looks when she's on the red carpet. Whether she wants to look that way or not there could be a part of her that enjoys the acceptance she receives from society. The music is slow but upbeat and it reflects strongly how Jessica White feels about her life. I think it is telling the audience that her life may be a downer at times but there are also benefits to it, such as not being in control of how she wants to present herself but whenever she is on the red carpet her fans love her. Walk along the red carpet. I believe that these shots during the red carpet were used in order to establish how Jessica feels alone and a loose connection to those who are graphing her. This promotional video is also a short length of 49 seconds. I believe if had it been any longer it would have dragged Jessica's emotions and became over dramatic. The lighting of the promotional video was very dark and I believe that this was to show the dark side of being a celebrity. Jessica is sitting patiently in that scene and by going with a facial expression she appears to be stating to the audience, welcome to my life. The next promotional video is a montage of a company called Just Sad Restaurant Chain. During the promotional video there are close ups and dolly shots of food being prepared and cut up by chefs. It literally is a montage of different foods being made and served to customers in a restaurant. Although the first half of the video is just showing various foods and certain ingredients that have been added into the foods. There are a couple of shots when food is sprinkled on and they have been sped up. The reason for those kits to be sped up was for pacing issues as nobody wants to see food slowly drop into a cup or a plate that long. The last shot shows a cater person acknowledging and waving briefly at the camera as it pans from the kitchen area to the customers queuing up. That last shot was the one that I did not like because it was handheld. I feel that the shakiness ruined the quality of the promotion of the video. From the start up until that point in the video it was very professionally done until the shaky cam came in. Lighting in this promotional video is very bright and helps to bring out the healthy taste of food products that are being created. It also ensures the audience that the food being prepared and cooked is healthy and not stale. I think that they might have been too scared to interview customers and staff in case they feel that the food may not be up to standards and were afraid of negative comments making their way into the promotional video. The majority of the shots used in the promotional video are close ups and that is whenever the food is being presented. There is a white. I found out the music in the promotional video was very upbeat. It really had illuminated the atmosphere of the workplace. The music was appropriate for the video and I felt it was bouncy in such a way that it suited the overall tone that the promotional video was presenting. The way that the food is shown being made has been done so professionally as to attract customers to the restaurant. The staff took the high quality of the food that is being made was the main selling point of the promotional video. The way that the food is cut up during the footage shows that the chefs make their food with precision and care. The next promotional video is Talking Heads. It's made by a company called Propel Growth who discuss technology sales process and how it benefits other companies and their employees. Throughout this video are facts and figures which are displayed using graphics along with a friendly professionalism male voice discussing briefly each term. I actually enjoyed watching all the interesting information that was shown through the images as it clearly presented all the information that Propel Growth wanted to get across. The video was short and got straight to the point making every second count. Each term that the man mentioned in the video were bullet pointed in graphics and then moved across the screen. The style used for the promotion of the video was perfect as it suited the overall theme that Propel Growth were using. I found that everything about this video was very appropriate. The professionalism that the man explained in the information made help Propel Growth to shine in a bright light. In this video they are looking to attract new customers and I believe that they had done so successfully. There is a lot of information that had been broken down explaining everything step by step so that the audience would understand. All of the information had been done using graphics, charts, statistics in order to extract the information across. There was a monologue of an employee speaking about each step. The images helped to visualise exactly what was being explained and how beneficial it would be. In the graphics are two images of employees who are male and female. I think that this was done so that the company wouldn't be seen as being sexist, it's more supportive of equality. A lot of the graphics that appear are animated and very well detailed. All of the images and text in the graphics are easy to read and understand what Propel Growth is trying to put across to the target audience. The music in the promotional video was rather bouncy and upbeat and I feel that this was done so that the audience does not become bored of the information that is being fed to them. If it weren't for the music then the promotional video might have made certain members to feel tedious after watching some of it. The voice after all is speaking in a professional manner and sometimes can also pop people off. Therefore the background music that has been added can actually help to make the technical language spoken worthwhile listening to.
it just comes down to the type of people that would probably prefer to watch an interview per person and see their reaction to what they're being asked instead of statistics and graphics being plastered all over the screen using animated sequences, despite the fact I personally found it enjoyable to watch. The whole animation sequence in this promotional video is on a wide screen. This is so that all the graphics and data can be seen in every single frame that appears on one after the other. However, the images that appear cannot be taken in the account here. The reason being is that the actual images of the same male and female employee from the start or simply outline and add it in the sequence later on. If a type of shot had to be establishing regarding how their outlines are shown, I would put it down as an exterior shot of them. Whenever they are shown at the start of the promotional video, they are in a digital simulated photo frame side by side with each other. The type of shot that the photographs are taken for those frames are mid shots. The video was 2 minutes and 10 seconds and I was able to get a decent amount of information from the promotional video. I feel that more data could have been extracted but Propeller Growth only gave out the information that they probably felt was essential enough for the promotional video. I feel that they probably would have liked to add further information but didn't want to overload the target audience with data and have them focusing too much on the narrator, which is a fair choice. It would probably have been too much for certain audience members to propel growth made a wise decision to select a proper target audience that they would benefit from and could actually land themselves in better terms as well with the groups that they are desiring to connect with. There are many transitions and titles throughout the entire promotional video. They are there to detail each section and the narrator is explained in depth about. All of the transitions slide in side by side and then the images and text come in from all directions. Even whenever the bulletin of each section has arrived, images are still slowly making their way into the frames. This is not a delay but to ensure that the audience is getting enough time to read and understand each definition and detail. If all the images had arrived at the exact same time, the audience would be bombarded and feel extremely overwhelmed as they would have to process which terminology to read first, which image is connected to each word, and to also understand what the specific section is discussing doing. Some of the transitions are repetitive, but I feel that it works because at that point of the audience is familiar with the type of style most of the video is. I feel that even though it would be refreshing to add a new style of transitions, the creators probably felt that it would be right to keep the choice simple and not risk confusing the audience. After all, the promotional video is about discussing business linking with their colleagues together so the information already available would be more important. The lighting can only be taken into account with the images of the employees working at the company are shown. There is no actual video footage in the promotional video despite it being a promotional video to begin with. However, it does work as a promotional video whenever all the aspects are actually taken into account as well. It is more of an animation really. The lighting in the photographs do illuminate the neutral colours of the employees and helps to bring out the professionalism in them. There are two portraits images of a male and female employee at the beginning of the promotional video. The lighting is well lit up so that it can be seen properly. The next promotional video is a documentary about Africans that were adopted from their homeland and shoved into the America. The focus of this documentary is about what became of this manoeuvre and how the Africans that were shedded had experienced during it. The opening of the video had shown a graphic of Africa's continent and then images had faded through that image. Historic images are shown one after the other depicting the cruel event that had occurred. Whenever a graphic of America's continent is shown, the American flag appears to the left side of the screen in an animation and moved as if it was being blown by the wind. The same technique is used whenever Brazil is mentioned and shown in the video as well. The video shows a montage of the African culture throughout the years so that the audience can get a sense of how they are and what they enjoy. At the start of the video, drum beats are played and it's to match the African theme music. The drum beats were played to intrigue the audience and have them pay more attention to the detail of the video. It was also done so that the video would be closer to the African culture instead of some random music to take the video out of context. If African music had not been chosen for this video, then it would have been distanced from the culture and very awkward to watch and understand. The promotion of the video would not have been taken very seriously if that had been the case then. A man who owned a television company and produced all of its shows had sold it and decided to work with a female author for three years documenting the tragedies that occurred in Africa. When Renzo created the documentary promotion video, he is briefly interviewed and he discusses his role. I was not surprised that the environment he was sitting whenever he was talking was actually in Africa. It simply meant that he was currently on the go with his job and simply took the time to sit down and explain everything that he was going through. The camera itself though was not up to high standards and it could be because it was an old one. The frame rates were lower and this decreased the quality quite a bit. There is an interview with an African woman and she speaks of the beautiful location called San Andres. This woman simply reflects on her accommodation and how she feels about that her life has changed for the better since she moved into it. 
I feel this was added to give a sense of hope for the audience. Also, by interviewing an African woman who was troubled in the past, to see her finally live a positive lifestyle will touch the hearts of many audience members. Near enough, all the shots in the beginning of the promotional video were actually mid and wide shots depicting the history of Africa, then showing the modern times. The composition of the shots showing Renzo being interviewed had good composition despite the lacking quality in the frame. It can also be shown that Renzo is far more focused on documenting and changing the lives of the Africans he's surrounded by instead of ensuring that this promotional video is in full HD. All he wants to do is ensure that he gets his job done at the end of the day and that the footage will be able to play back all his efforts and people that are being affected by the poverty and what has become of them ever since. This promotional video has been the longest one that I've looked up so far. I believe that it was worked despite a couple of drawbacks in the quality of footage. However, the editing of the promotional video was fantastic as it had shown all the information through the footage and narration. I don't think that this documentary promotional video would have been as effective as it had been shorter. If it had been shorter, I don't think it would have been as effective. Of course, the following information displayed and explained throughout was relevant. I do feel that it would have definitely required to be the length that it was in order for its measure to get across and be taken as seriously as it should have. The documentary promotion of the video begins like a documentary that explains the origins of the Africans and the tragedy that was brought upon them. Then it converts itself into a promotion of the video reflecting on the positive that has became out of it in the long run after having such a dark and depressing beginning. A better way of speaking, could be in order for there to be a rainbow there has to be a little rain during the sunshine. It could also mean that the camera crew with Renzo might be amateurs and he didn't want to spend his entire budget getting a professional crew involved, whether he could use it for the betterment of the cause that he was trying to help. The promotion video began with a negative opening to get the target started to sympathise only to end it with a positive closure that would actually restore a portion of hope for the Africans by the end of the video. My only complaint of course would have been the low quality cameras that had been used to produce it in the end. Renzo and his crew had gone through a great deal of dedication in order to make a change and remove this terrible issue. It is because of Renzo's contribution that he has successfully raised the concerns of his culture and helped other people add their own input in the project as well. In this promotional video, it is simply a montage of surreal artwork that has been put together. The surreal aspect of it is that the images are extraordinary and weird. Matt, the artist who painted them, is showing off his collection of work and is also trying to inspire other artists to come forward as well. The images are in a sequence one after the other displaying many manifestations of the modern world in a strange way. I believe that this was done in this style because it would have been the only way it would have worked. The promotion video does reflect on the artwork shown despite the fact that the structure of it is pretty mediocre. It is not up to the full professional standard at all, but it's still worth watching in order to inspire new amateur artists that are interested in painting and for those who also want to make a name for themselves in the creative industry too. It was established that surreal paintings would be shown but it did not address how graphic or revealing some of them might even be. Even though surrealism does tend to show material that would be unsuitable for young children, it is still a matter of professionalism to acknowledge the age rating and what concerns it's expected to be for the promotion of the video as well. There should have been a proper introduction at the promotion video at the start to explain what would be shown and the nature of it as well. I enjoyed the music on how it was low but would also point at the same time. It definitely cut the debate with this promotion of the video and made it a much more enjoyable experience as it does help to flesh out the strange artwork that is presented to the target audience. If Matt had wanted to go to the extra mile then he could have simply talked about what made him make his artworks so weird looking in the first place. Sometimes it does not hurt to just add in an interview or monologue explaining why he created them the way that he did. The transitions and titles are what complete this promotion video in every way here. The images are appearing and disappearing in various styles and the title is also in a certain font. This is to keep the audience intrigued with what they are about to see next. The target audience for this promotional video might like to be surprised and kept on the edge of the seat whenever they are watching the media material. They are content that has never been seen before and that is what also helped to make this exact promotional video work in the first place. It was the music and transitions that only lent assistance to the surreal content of each painting that was displayed. A promotional video explaining that they assist film studios such as Warner Brothers, Universal Pictures and Nickelodeon with their productions. Their, their role is to ensure that all those media studios content are streamed over to every television that has an aerial. Only those who choose WRN as their broadcast partners will be able to access this entire great media source as demonstrated throughout the promotional video. The narrator is also trying to convince the audience to switch over to WRN so that they can enjoy the experience that the company has to offer. Customers will be able to watch whatever they want, however it is simply a matter of advertising and the company could really be just as good as the other existing broadcasting organisations. During the promotion of the video there is a montage showing the WRN location and its employees working with technology that they have. They showcase briefly how they stream all the content worldwide and the faces of the employees that they have working for them. There is also a scene from television series and films that are being aired so that the target audience can relate better. The music is lively and I believe that this is because of the wide access that is uh, 
available to those who would be interested in watching the material they would have access to. It also reflects how high WRN stand as well with the fact that they are able to broadcast such great quality on the covers of those major Hollywood studios. There is also a woman speaking at a cheery manner that is trying to encourage the audience to consider linking with WRN. With the montage of all the available content from connecting with WRN, it would be very tempting for the target audience. The interview I find actually works because it does explain everything about WRN and what it is trying to do. It was hard to believe that this promotion of video is only 1 minute and 30 seconds long because it felt like there was 3 minutes at the very least. I think that this is because of all the information that is explained and the vast amount of footage that is shown too. Therefore it is great the illusion that the promotion of video is a lot longer than it is whenever it is not. The transitions and titles in this talking head promotion video played a major role in keeping it alive. The promotion of video looks like it's about to explode because it is so energetic. The titles that appear are actually in line with what the narrator is talking about. I had watched these promotion videos on YouTube. I downloaded the video files using the online video converter called Number One Download. The videos were converted to the WMV file format and I had pulled them into Premiere Pro. Premiere Pro was the application that I used to edit the promotion video analysis on.